As you can see, there's no shortage of competitors in this market segment, but their products can cost you five, ten, even fifteen dollars or more per treatment. Well, that's not going to save you much. Car Pills treats twelve full tanks for the average car, and here's some test results proving that no other product comes close to Car Pills. This is an official government environmental emission test on a 1990 Buick that was a 16-year-old car at time of testing. Look closely at the CO percent reading. All zeros. Here's another one. A 1994 Pontiac Transport. It failed the first test. The owner didn't want to spend the money to fix it, so she put it up for sale. After a month and a half, no takers. We took the vehicle for a test drive. No mechanical repairs. Just filled it up, put two pills in it, and drove a couple hundred miles then took it back to the same test facility. Look at the CO percent again, 0.09%. It only stands to reason that if you burn more of the fuel you buy, the more power you get. The more power you get, the farther your car travels on a tank of gas. Fleet economy tests on both Ford and GM vehicles using the active ingredients found in car pills showed an average increase of 8 to 12 percent in fuel economy. However, the test conditions were so restrictive that a plus or minus 4 percent was discarded. That's a full 8 percent of improvement data that was tossed out. Fuel differs greatly from season to season, state to state, and country to country. Where the quality of fuel is lowest, the benefits of using car pills goes up. Car Pills is Environmental Protection Agency registered for both gas and diesel fuels. Works on each equally as well because they're both carbon based. Material safety data sheets accompany all shipments of Car Pills, except in smaller consumer packages of single unit orders. In such small quantities, it's not required. The safety data sheets are sent with each shipment in case of an emergency.